Over the years, the Punjab has developed a very extensive uh, system of public and private healthcare facilities. But uh, there was very little regulation of the private healthcare facilities. Though it existed in the uh, public healthcare facilities, but uh, left a lot to be desired. And the setting up of uh, the healthcare commission is a step aimed at bringing uniformity and high standards of professional input into the healthcare establishments all over Punjab. Keeping in mind the challenges that plague the quality of the healthcare service delivery and a series of high-profile cases of medical negligence, Punjab Assembly promulgated the Punjab Healthcare Commission Act 2010 and created an independent health regulatory body with a mandate to improve the quality of healthcare services delivery and ban quackery in the province of Punjab. I think in the history of Pakistan, this is for the first time that in Punjab a regulatory body has been formed and the purpose of this regulatory body is to include all medical establishments but apart from medical establishments we are looking at allopathy, we are looking at homeopathy, we are looking at TIB. It will be a body which will be totally autonomous financially as well as administratively and would be looking at government as well as the private sector with an equal amount of uh, the scrutiny. Punjab Healthcare Commission is governed by a nine-member, credible board of commissioners, each having a strong expertise in their respective fields. They are responsible for the vision setting and maintaining a strategic direction of the commission. Our resolve, striving for quality healthcare in Punjab. Our mission is to enhance standards of healthcare service deliverance in the province of Punjab. Our vision is high quality and safe health services for all. Punjab Healthcare Commission is working on the mandate to standardize healthcare service delivery through licensing and implementation of minimum service delivery standards and also has an important role to play in investigation of maladministration, malpractice, medical negligence, all for improving the quality of healthcare services in Punjab. I believe with formation of Punjab Healthcare Commission, millions of people in Punjab would have access to quality healthcare and greater protection against quackery and medical abuse. Punjab Healthcare Commission is supported by a technical advisory committee through which key stakeholders are engaged with the work of the commission to advise, facilitate, or offer assistance to any matter referred to it by the Commission. The mandate of PHC is the first of its kind in the sense that it has never happened in the history of health sector reforms in Pakistan that both patients and healthcare establishments rights have been protected. We issue provisional and full licenses to each and every establishment. In case of the provisional license, time lag of almost six months is given to any healthcare establishment to implement the minimum service delivery standards. In case there are issues with non-implementation of the MSDS, then the Commission also has the authority and power to either withhold the license or revoke it or even suspend it. And at times where the Commission feels that the violations are, are of such a magnitude uh, that 
the healthcare establishment should be closed down, it is also empowered to do that. Uh, in framing these uh, minimum service delivery standards, we have been consulted time and again, considering all the ground realities. I believe licensing will ensure that the given licensed healthcare establishment is a safe and effective place, ensuring greater patient and practitioner confidence. People have concerns related to the quality of healthcare service they will get from any healthcare establishment which cannot be ignored. Keeping this in mind, the Commission has formed a system of complaints redressal of the patients and the healthcare establishments. Every healthcare establishment will develop its own complaint management system to cater to the complaints of the patients. If the complaint of an aggrieved person is not duly redressed by the healthcare establishment, he or she may file a written complaint to the healthcare commission. Even a healthcare establishment can lodge a complaint to the commission directly in case of damage or harassment. In order to cater to complaints from all over Punjab, a dedicated helpline has been established by the commission to facilitate the people. Information regarding licensing is also furnished through this helpline. This is a very good initiative and will help to improve healthcare delivery and quality of services because of feedback from patients. It will also put additional responsibility on healthcare providers to improve and strengthen their systems because of the active feedback being provided to them. For the past one year, in spite of being semi-functional and with many operational challenges in the beginning related to financial autonomy, lack of availability of quality human resource, deficient data regarding healthcare establishments in the private sector and no legal support, a lot has been done. Healthcare establishments data has been collected and digitized from almost all districts of Punjab. More than 100 healthcare establishments have been registered or provisionally licensed mainly in Lahore, Faisalabad and Gujranwala. Minimum service delivery standards for hospitals have been notified and shared with the registered healthcare establishments. Punjab Healthcare Commission has developed charters regarding the rights and responsibilities of both the patients and healthcare establishments. Many complaints have been filed at PHC and majority of them are in the process of investigation. But more remains. There is lots to do. Everything is geared up to achieve the mandate of the Commission. Let me assure all the stakeholders of PHC that it would never do policing of the healthcare sector. We are here to provide facilitation and help all our stakeholders to implement the minimum service delivery standards so that we can together achieve our common goal of providing quality healthcare service to the people of Punjab. We at Commission have a clear focus on our priorities. Healthcare Commission is all about improving dimensions of healthcare service delivery. We act as a conduit of change towards developing a shared vision to improve quality of healthcare services in Punjab. Punjab Healthcare Commission, promising the people of Punjab a healthier future, following its core values, quality, transparency, commitment, integrity, teamwork, all of you have the right to quality healthcare and most importantly, the right to be heard. Let Punjab Healthcare Commission lead by example. Let it pave way towards a culture of quality in healthcare because quality matters. Punjab Healthcare Commission, setting a new paradigm for improving quality in healthcare.